York, and we wanted to make things special for you. So we apologize for the delay. Can you please do me a favor, turn your cell phones on uh, vibrate or off so you don't miss any of this important information? See the bill? No, I want to see the Uh-uh. No? Okay. Can you hear me now? All right, good evening. My name is Ron Smith, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule this evening to come out and listen to this information. Uh, I'm retired Air Force. I spent about 23 years in the Air Force, and I thought I was living a healthy life until I saw this product. I pretty much came out of retirement after looking at this product. So just hold on to your seats, and you're in for a big treat. Without further ado, we're going to introduce you to a young lady. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> testing, one, two, testing. Can you hear it now? Okay. All right. I want to introduce you to a young lady that's uh, positioning herself to take this business all over the country. We're really all over the world. Uh, she's uh, helping a lot of people. She's having fun, and she's making money. Let's uh, welcome Miss uh, Ann Bradshaw. I think you all should keep clapping. Give yourself a hand for just being here tonight. could be doing a lot of other things and we appreciate your patience believe me it will be well worth it you're about to see something that is really going to transform your life it certainly has mine I mean since I saw what you're about to see my life has not been the same and that's not just hype that is literally we're talking about something that can affect your health the health of your family and a host of other people it's really going to revolutionize the world Japan has known about it for 30 something years and you're about to find out about it. Okay, now the way the program is going to go, <coughs> we're going to show you a short DVD. It's gonna be about 20 minutes and then after that, I'm gonna come back up and introduce our phenomenal uh, guest speaker. She's really the one who has gotten this thing going the way it is. She's out of New York, Tamia Cologne, and she's phenomenal. She's taking this thing all over the country. We're going to be doing the same thing and you're going to be sharing in that as well when you share this fantastic information with others. So we're going to start with the DVD, and then I'll be back up to introduce uh, Tamia Cologne. <coughs> Price of a gallon of gasoline? Lots of people are. Yeah. And yet, bottled water costs even more. People pay extra for bottles because they think... It's changed my life tremendously. I don't know if you understand the significance of what you just heard. We have a lot of the problems that we do. Ron, could you turn up the, because the people in the back are saying they can't hear it as well. Okay, is that better? In the back, is that better? I think some are still saying they don't hear it that well. I think we have it at the maximum that it's going to go. No, I think that's better on. What about that? Okay. But what I was saying is, I don't know if you understand the significance of what you just saw. What I mean by that, we have a lot of the problems we do, high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, I don't care what this fibromyalgia, uh, all of those kind of things, sickle cell anemia. Why? Because we're too acidic inside. Those types of conditions thrive in an acidic environment. If we are more alkaline inside, those conditions cannot thrive or even possibly exist. Now, what group of people has most of those problems? Right. The people you see in here, that's right. All of the people you know, all over the world do suffer with those kinds of problems, but not to any extent like our people. So to me, this information that you're getting now is something almost like a baby needing milk. We need this more than anyone else. There is no need for us to be suffering like we do. And if you are asking, am I saying, is it as simple as drinking this water that you cannot have those problems? That is exactly what we are saying. And this is not play play, it's real. It's been going on in Japan for 32 years. It's just been over here the last few years. You're gonna hear more about that when you see this presentation. The information that you're seeing will revolutionize the medical industry in the United States. And you're gonna be some of the first to know about it as far as the English speaking community. 
You're gonna see in this, this presentation that it's only been over here for three years. Guess what, it's only been in the English speaking community eight months in the United States. You're some of the first to know about it. It's absolutely phenomenal. You're gonna hear some testimony later from people who have been drinking the water in a short amount of time and the profound effects that they have received from this water. Now, if you talk to nutritionists, doctors, nurses, they'll tell you they know about the acid and the alkaline. I didn't know anything about it until I found out about these products and the Congan water. But they know about it. They know you need to be more alkaline inside to be healthy. But what they would do in the past is they would tell us, uh, which is true, these things do help, you know, eat better, don't eat processed foods, um, don't drink sodas, drink more water, and then a key is, of course, uh, of course, what type of water are you drinking? And we're gonna do a demonstration, so you'll see that a lot of the waters that are, you're drinking, because there are people who do drink a lot of water, but if you're drinking water that's more acidic, guess what, you've still got a problem. You're setting yourself up for all types of illness, illnesses that we have. So that's why this is so profound and important for you to know this information. And it is as simple as drinking this water and eating better. It really is that simple. I want you to know what this means to me personally. My mother passed away about three years ago uh, because she had a heart condition. She had congestive heart failure. Now, my mother was the type, was never overweight, did not drink, did not smoke, was not the type that was always out partying because she was saved since she was nine years old and she did live that type of life because I know there are a lot of people that say that, but they're not, but my mother did. And so when she came down with this problem and she did, she did live to be the 82 years old, but when she came down with the problem two years before she passed away, you know, the question is why my mother, especially when she lived as healthy a life as she did, but guess what I found out? because of what she was suffering, she didn't like to drink water. She liked to drink fruit punch, Kool-Aid, cranberry juice, which is good, iced tea, but she didn't like to drink water. And when she did make the Kool-Aid, she put tons of sugar in it. Okay, so when I realized that, I'm like, okay, that's probably why she had the problem. But now since I found out about this, I really know that's why she had the problem that she did. And that is what took her away from here. So when I saw this, especially I said, if I had known this then, or years ago, my mother would still be here. Because my mother would pretty much listen to things that I told her if it was better for her. And she would have been drinking this water, and my mother would still be here now. Now, I can't bring my mother back, but for all of us who do still have our mothers, and other people close to us who have not already passed on from all of the different conditions I've told you about, now you can do something about it. God has blessed us to have this information, and we need to take advantage of it and share it with any and everyone that we know. And we have the perfect person here tonight to tell you about it. We've got Tamia Cologne from New York. She is the one who has really uh, blown this thing up around the country and got things moving uh, as they are. She is the person that told me about this fantastic technology and information. I want to thank you now, Tamia. I owe you uh, a debt you know, of gratitude for sharing this information with you. I also want you to know that she did tell me about this probably about four months ago when I first met her in, in New York. And of course, I did not listen then. You know, I didn't hear everything. We were really talking about a lot of other things uh, then, investing and things like that. And she tried to tell me about the water and, you know, why are you drinking the water you're drinking and this kind of thing. And I, you know, I'm pay attention. You know, I'm thinking she's talking just some way, you know, water filter. So I didn't really pay attention to her. But then when I found out she was coming to West Palm Beach to talk to people about this, I said, I better take a look at this, because to me it's not the type of person that's going to waste her time doing anything unless it's something really important. And I've been involved in a lot of things. I have been involved in the practice of law. I am a an attorney. I do say retired from the practice, not uh, retired you know, for good when you're up in years. I'm not quite there yet. But I, I believe in working smarter, not harder, so I do a lot of other things as well. But I have never been involved in anything that gives me more satisfaction than what we are talking about right now. Now, not only are we talking about a phenomenal health opportunity, you are going to see shortly that it is a phenomenal wealth opportunity. So we're talking about health and wealth. You can help people be better, help yourself be better, your family, your friends, and also make a tremendous, tremendous amount of money in doing so. 
So without further ado, I'm going to bring up the person who told me about this, Ms. Tamia Cologne. She is taking this thing all around the country. She is phenomenal. She is here now not because he, you know, the company or anybody else is paying her. She does it at her own expense. That's how excited she is about getting this information to her. We uh, really owe her a debt of gratitude, and I'm honored to have her here to take the time to come down because she's leaving her family and husband in New York to come down and share this phenomenal information with us. So without further ado, we've got Ms. Tamia Colon. about me I give it right back to her because let me tell you something edgy when you look around this room this is the result of us actually starting out and I mean and it's a, a small it's a small place okay and look what look at what, what has happened already in Florida uh, you know if, if I, I mean it's all right for me to say the Florida's on the map yeah. I know the Florida's on the map give yourself a hand Jack, I don't know about y'all, but I am. Some of y'all, you know, y'all watch the video. I said, why are they clapping after the video stopped? I mean, we need to get excited. We need to really get excited. Let me tell you something. Just like Ann, I said, I'm retired from the practice of teaching school. I was a school teacher, taught school for nine years. I enjoyed it. As a matter of fact, on my way here today, I actually bumped into one of my students. She walked over to me and said, Miss Cologne. Yeah, you Miss Cologne? And I looked at her and I said, Shakira. She said, I'm grown now. I said, don't remind me. <laughs> I mean, I taught her in eighth grade, and now she's a big-time supervisor uh, for JetBlue. Made me feel really good. So what I'm saying is that it was rewarding, but, you know, some, some things happened in my life. You know, the reason why I know about this machine today is a result of my son. See, I'm a mother of three children, a wife of one man. I like to say that. My husband makes sure I say that everywhere I go. You see, my, my three children, my oldest is 17 years old. I have a son that's 13 years old. And then I have a little girl that's five years old. Now, what we did is we planned our children. The first one, we, as we said, we figured that after four years, we'd have another one. Because I was teaching school, as you heard me say it, and my income wasn't making it happen. Y'all do understand that. And a lot of you are sitting here tonight, you're saying, well, I agree, because mine's not making it happen either. So we decided that we should not have two children back to back. Instead, I should wait four years, have another child, and then when the first one goes through college, it'll be, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll, it'll, it'll be all right for us to pay, to pay for the other child to go through college because we, would, we knew we wouldn't be able to afford both of them go through college, going through college at the same time. So now, this was our plan. However, when my son was born, I carried him full term just like I did my daughter. I, I thought everything was going to be fine just like it was my daughter. However, it didn't happen that way. You see, when my son was born, my son lost oxygen at birth. Now, I don't know if anybody here can identify with dealing with a child that's mentally delayed, developmentally uh, delayed. I don't know if you had to deal with a child that's, that's suffering with autism. I don't know if you had to deal with that. I don't know if you had to deal with somebody who was perfectly okay, and all of a sudden, because of a car accident, because of a heart attack, their whole body, everything just changed. Well, that happened from birth for my son. So when, when my son was born, they told me he never walk, he never talk. He never go to the bathroom. He never feed himself. He never be able to do this, 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 and this. Everything they they, they didn't tell me what he was going to be able to do. All they told me is, Miss Cologne, get used to it. That's the way it's going to be. Accept it. But see, I, I, I didn't just believe what, what they had to say. You see, I'm in South Carolina, as I told y'all. You see, I believe in Jesus Christ. And if I can't say it here, I'm sorry, all right? Y'all get over it later, huh? Y'all get over it later. The bottom line is that I began to lean on the hand that I knew would never change. And as a result of doing so, the Lord started to direct healing towards my son. Yes. I believe in the power of attraction. Yes. I believe that we are what we are tonight as a result of what we thought about yesterday and maybe last year. But the bottom line is I begin to attract positive healing towards my son. People call me to me, you know, we have this juice, we have this pill, we have this powder, and I tried a lot of that stuff. One product in particular came from South Africa. My son began to do better. But when my girlfriend called me from Queens to tell me about this machine, I got excited. She showed me the money. I wasn't interested in the money. You see, Reggie, Powell, and Tamia Cologne, we felt we had already arrived. You see, we were the company that gave us both Mercedes Benz. We were the company that sent us on a few cruises. You know, it's amazing. After we stopped focusing, we got a letter told us we had five days to get that car back. 
But they knew that they had some Japanese folk over here in this country. And they knew that the, the certain areas were populated, I mean, heavily with Japanese individuals. So they figured, you know what, we're enjoying the benefits of this machine. Why not us set up, you know, in four different spots in America where we have our people? So they set up an office in New York. They set up one in Chicago, one in Hawaii, and one in California. As a result of doing so, Japanese folk got excited too. And they began to talk to some people. As a matter of fact, one Japanese guy by the name of J.D. talked to a Filipino guy who talked to another Filipino guy by the name of Romy Vadera, who talked to a woman by the name of Anna Wilshire who talked to Tamiya Cologne. Mm -hmm. And that's how you all know about this today. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So it was, it was actually a well-kept secret for well over 30 years. And for the first time, eight months ago, somebody told somebody who spoke English. And as a result, this is what has happened in Florida already. Can y'all get excited about that? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Trust me, not yet. Let's talk about it. This is where we are today. I told you where we are in the United States. I told you we are in China now. We're in Taiwan. We're in Hong Kong. Can you see? Well, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. You hear me? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Yeah. And then we just opened up in Canada. We opened up in Canada on August 21st. So we're in Canada as well. But now let's talk about where we are presently as far as the machines are concerned. First of all, we actually move anywhere from five to 7,000 units every single month. That's, wow. the, that's, that's what we do, and that's, that's very important. Enagic services, supplies, and we have our own in-house finances within the company, and we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But what I want you to know is that these machines are hand put together by one individual. They do not go through an assembly line. Our parts are not ordered on the outside and then shipped into our factories to be added to our machines. Every part, every plate, Every nail is put together in the factory, and they put it in that machine, and as a result of doing so, they test the machine over and over again before it reaches your doorstep, and that's the reason why none of us have had problems with our machines. Am I right about it? Right. Absolutely. Currently, today, there's over 1,000 offices in Japan and still growing. However, there's only four in the United States, and that's only because it's been here for three years. And you know what? I need to pause for a moment, because there's something I need to tell you all. I don't know if you know this, but our team, since we've gotten involved now, seriously involved since August, our team is the number one team in the entire United States. Give yourselves a hand. In the entire United States, y'all hear me? That means we beat the Japanese. Woo, that's awesome. Now, what does the future hold? We're going into Europe, we're going into South America, and we're looking to open up in 23 other countries. That's the goal. It's already on paper. It's just getting ready to happen. And all of you that have positioned yourselves, you're going to get a piece of all the action, especially the way you guys are growing here in Florida. This is what the machine looks like. You can actually see the machine over here. The machine actually talks to you. I need to put the mic to it. This is the machine here. I'm going to go inside the machine on the screen here in a moment. But the machine actually talks to you. It's a computer. This is the filter here. As a matter of fact, we put this down here. Inside here is the filter. This filter makes about 3,000 gallons of water. Okay, and it's changed every year or every 3,000 gallons of water. And that filter, believe it or not, is only $90 to purify 3,000 gallons of water. This section here, inside here, there's an electrolysis plate, okay, that they call it the electrolysis chamber. But it's equipped with five plates. The plates are made out of titanium and they're covered in platinum. Why are these precious metals? Because they don't bleed in the water. And you know, most people when they have knee replacement, they replace it with, with, with titanium and, and pile it inside the body because it won't, it won't harm the in, inside the body. So now, let me, let me, let me, let me let you hear the machine. Kangen water, 8.5. Kangen water, 9.0. Kangen water, 9.5. Then you have clean water. Listen to this one, ladies. Beauty water. Okay. <laughs> Strong acidic water. Fantastic. I'm going to go and give the machine a hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Machine talks to you. The machine tells you when it's cleaning. You know, it actually just let the water run. It will clean itself. The machine tells you when you're running the water too fast, when you're running the water too slow. It tells you if it's too hot. <laughs> it, I mean, it tells you slow down. You know, the machine talks to you. It tells you when to change the filter. I mean, it's, it's a built-in built computer, and it does all of this in one. So we're going to talk about it now. So what I want to do right now, I, wanna, I want us to all take a look inside the machine. Let's take a look inside. I just spoke about this. Now I'm going to talk to you for a moment. This machine actually... It attaches to your tap, to your faucet, right by your sink in your house. Now, why is it attached there? It's attached there because the water actually runs through the faucet into the machine. But it makes two stops. The first stop it's going to make is in the filter. Why is it important that the water is filtered? And why this particular filter? 
Why? Because I don't know if you know. Uh, do you have those articles there? We actually, um, we, just, we just did, we did a little bit of research and we have an article from some Italian researchers that actually did some research on the water. Now let me tell you what they were looking for. They were looking for traces of pharmaceuticals in the water. Traces of drugs in the water. Okay, and you know what they found? They found that the traces of every single drug on the market with the exception of two. Some of those drugs in tap water and bottled water, believe it or not, have not even been prescribed for human use. They've been prescribed for animals. And people are drinking every single day. We had a chemist at the meeting that also, also does some research. He discovered that he found some organisms in the tap water as well as bottled water that have the same organs that we have as human beings. So we don't know who's trying to make what or whatever they're trying to do, but the bottom line is that it's starting to come out. Now think about it, think for a moment. Isn't it amazing how all of a sudden everybody's coming down with cancer? Isn't it amazing how everybody's coming down with diabetes, high blood pressure? Where is it coming from? Is it because we're all eating bad? Or do you think the water might have something to do with it? Listen, a long time ago, it took two chemicals to purify the water. Now it's taking approximately 140 chemicals to purify the water and growing. it. I said again, I said again, I'm from South Carolina. When I was growing up, we used something called an outhouse. Some of y'all might not be able to relate to that. But that was that place where you went outside and you used the bathroom when you had to go. Okay, they dug a real deep hole. And they built a nice little pretty house around it. Some people had nice outhouses and up. And some people like to decorate their outhouse. I was wasn't decorated. We went in, we went, and we got up, and that was it, okay? So what I'm saying is that the stool and the urine went in this hole. When the hole was filled, the hole was covered up, and then they moved the house to another location. When it came down to washing hair, when it came down to brushing teeth, we had pumps. And we used to add water to that pump to prime that pump to bring the water out the ground. And we used that water to wash clothes. We used that water to wash our hair. And we didn't wash our hair every week. We didn't wash our hair every two weeks. Sometimes it went for a month, two months. Y'all know it's the truth. That's mm. true. When it came to bathing, we didn't bathe every night. Every now everybody, I'm going to take a shower this morning, a shower tonight. <laughs> right? No it wasn't that because you had to prime that big old tub of water. Listen, everybody used the same water that night. We took turns. I was always trying to be first, and somebody was getting better. Zero. And my cousin said, well, I'm zero then. That come before one or whatever. I was all going there after her. But then what happened is that water was thrown away. When somebody passed away, the body was washed. The body was clothed. Somebody built the box. They put the body in the box. Sometimes the body would come back to the house and it would stay overnight, right? They called it away. And then you put the body in the ground. Let's talk about today. What happens today when we wash clothes? We use something called a washing machine. Where's the water going? Back into the same water that has to be reprocessed. When you brush your teeth, when you wash your face, where is the water going? Back into the same water that has to be reprocessed. When somebody dies, now they go to the undertaker, and the undertaker actually drains all the blood from the body. Where is the blood going? Back into the water that has to be reprocessed. The Detroit River finds a minimum of 1,500 bodies in the water that has to be reprocessed every year. What about all the operations that took place this week alone? Where do you think the water's going? Right back into the same water that has been reprocessed and we turn around and drink it. Think for a moment. Think about it. So now when people are on drugs, people are on chemo, people are on all these different, they're using all these different lotions and they're bathing their body with all these chemicals in it, where do you think it's going? So that's the reason why now it takes 140 chemicals to purify the water. Some folks say we get rainwater, you know, the rain, where did the rainwater come from? First of all, if you leave a pot of water outside on your doorstep and you go back a couple of days, you're going to find the, 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 the pot is going to be empty. That's because the water did what? What? It evaporated. It went up in the air. And when there's so much in the air, it must come down. So it's the same water that's been contaminated that comes down. People say, well, you know what? I can boil my water. You can't boil away chemicals. I don't care how hard you try. As a matter of fact, we've re re recently we've learned that it is, I mean, it's, it's worse to boil water and drink it than it is just to drink it, drink tap water. Then did a meeting in Palm Bay. Lady said she gave the water, gave uh, the dog some tap water. The dog looking at the water a couple of hours later, and the dog barking at the water. The water's moving, but nobody can see anything in the water. Then the dog barking at it, she's like, what's going on? There wasn't anything else around but the water and the dog. So she put the water in a glass, and she put it on the counter. And when she thought about it later, she went to go get the water. What did she find? A whole bunch of parasites in the water, worms. So what I'm saying to you is that this is the greatest thing. I mean, this is it right here. I'm excited about it. That's not to scare you. That's to inform you. And I tell you something, when you know better, you're supposed to do better. But if you don't, it's on you. Is that all right? Is that all right? 
So once this water goes into this filter, it removes all of that, the urine, the feces, the parasites, it removes the lead, the rust, the bacteria, it removes the odor from sulfur, from chlorine, okay, fluoride, all that comes out of the water. It's amazing, growing up in South Carolina, we use baking soda and peroxide to brush our teeth. Nobody lost their teeth hardly. Unless they were playing and one fell, and they hurt themselves and one came out. Now everybody got meth. You know why? Because we've gone to toothpaste now. What do you want the whitening kind of? Do you want this, this, this kind of, that kind, right? What about deodorant, ladies? We used baking soda a long time ago. What has happened now? We've gone from Tussie and one other brand. Now we have a whole section of deodorant, all loaded with aluminum. We're getting sicker and sicker, and the more we use these chemicals, we, we shower, it goes right back into the water that has to be reprocessed. So this machine will literally purify the water. Once the water has been purified, I mean, everything purged of everything, okay? It goes into this part of the machine, which is called the electrolysis chamber. There, the magic takes place. There, that's where the technology takes place. There, they've actually found a way to duplicate nature. That same water that people travel so far to go to in Jerusalem and travel so far to go to in Ohio and so forth and so on, to get that water they can drink that's pure water. And now they can have it right in their home. They don't have to go anywhere, okay? Here in this electrolysis chamber, the water is split up into two parts. You have purified acidic water, which is very good, and you have purified Congen water, which is the high, high, high alkaline water, which is very good. Both the waters exit the machine at the same time, simultaneously. So when you turn the machine on, there's a section here that comes with the machine. This, this, this hose here, which is the secondary hose, this actually connects the inside of the sink. And the acid water comes from this hose. But the other hose that we have here, this is the part that connects to your, to your tap. And see, when you turn it, when it's on ion, that's when the conger water comes out of the different types of water that you press. And when you turn it this way, now you have your plain tap water, which I don't see the system even using that. I really don't, especially you know what I know, really, scary. So the bottom line is that when we turn the machine on, you have conger water coming from here and acid water coming from there. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Now, I already told you about the filter, so we're gonna keep it moving. Let's talk about the five different types of water that this machine produces. The first type is the conger water, strong conger water, 11.0. This water is not used for drinking. However, wouldn't it be nice to restore some of that silver that you have in your house that's been rusting? If you put it in that strong kind of water, it will restore it, just like bring it right back like to, to the way it was when you first purchased it. Because of the, the antioxidants in it, the levels are so high, it will actually change old rusted silver back to new. If you have some silver jewelry that you, that you, wanted, to, you wanted to bring it back to life, put it in there. What about a toilet that was clogged or a sink that was clogged? Pour the strong kind of water in there and watch it unclog your sink or your toilet. I'm telling you. What about washing clothes? Instead of using all the different detergents, put a cup of the strong kind of water in your wash and watch how clean your clothes come out. Because of the solvency rate, it breaks up all of the grease and all those, those hard surfaces that's been difficult for you to get out. You don't need Clorox, you don't need bleach and all of that and spray this on that and whatever, those other uh, stuff is out there, items, whatever. The bottom line is that all you need is strong kind of water. Then the machine makes conger water 8.0 to 9.5. That water is used for drinking. It's used to cook with. It's used to make your coffee, make your tea with it. Stay out of 7-Eleven all these places. That water is tap water, okay? And they boil it, so you know it's worse when it's boiled, huh? I mean, so think about it. I tell myself that sometimes I want me a cup of coffee. It's hard, y'all. Y'all pray for me. I mean, so this kind of water here, 8.0 to 9.5, is very, very good. As a matter of fact, I did a test with it. I actually took some salad. I love salad. And I took some romaine lettuce and some cucumber and tomato and even onions. And I put it all, and I let, I let it soak in the kangen water. I left it there for two days. When I went back, the cucumber was still crunchy. The, the, I'm telling you, the lettuce was still green. It was greener than it was when I first put it in there. It's because of the antioxidant levels that this water ha that, that it has. I mean, so now do the same thing with tap water to see what you find. Everything yeah. just dies. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing with, with rice. Try to cook a pot of rice with tap water and then cook a pot of rice with congen water. And let me tell you something, the congen water rice will stay for two days outside. Now, but what happens when you cook rice and tap water? The very next morning, it's like, what is that smell? Yeah. What is that smell? Am I right about it? Yeah. I mean, so think about what's going on on the inside. So conger water, I'm telling you, is very, very good. Then there's purified water. Purified water is used for drinking, especially when you're taking your medication. You use it when you're putting together baby formula. You use it when you're putting together drinks for your children, maybe iced tea or whatever it is. That's to use the, the purified water for. You do not take medication with conger water. 
And the reason you don't take medication with Congan water is because of the solvency rate that it has. If you take medication with Congan water, what will happen is that medicine will dissolve faster in your system than it should, and sometimes you'll have an adverse reaction, okay? And something, in other words, you get a little higher than you should, or, or, or you, you'll get a little you know, drowsy than you should. Some people say, yeah, I'm going to drink my kind of water with my... No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay? Only, use, only use the purified water. <laughs> then, you have, then you have the beauty water, ladies, and men. So if you take your showers, let me tell you, share something with you. What, what we've learned recently is that when you take a shower, your body is, a, is, 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 is skin. You, know, you have skin. It's, it's, a, it's a living organism, it's alive. And it actually breathes, it's like you, because you breathe it. And it actually takes in as well. So when you're taking a shower, what we've learned is that for every minute you stay in the shower, your skin drinks a glass of water, that's eight ounces. If you think I'm joking, weigh yourself before you get in the shower, and then weigh yourself when you get out of the shower, and you'll be surprised at how the scale miraculously go up, a pound or two, all right? So now what we're saying is that with this beauty water, you put yourself, you put yourself some, and you can catch it from here, you know, so while you take your kind of water, make sure you, 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 keep your, you keep your acid water. And you spray your body with it so you can disinfect your skin. And then just let your body dry. You don't, don't take a towel, just let your body, just spray your body with it, let your body dry. You can use it to rinse your hair. It stimulates growth. That's not what happened to me, but it stimulates growth, all right? <laughs> In addition to that, I'm working on it, though. Y'all stay with one I'm working on it. <laughs>
So they exit your colon. They're that tiny. They can leave the wall of your colon, and they can literally lay millions of eggs at one time. So people who walk around, oh, I, I got gas. I know you don't. You have parasites. You think that gas moving around. It's something else moving around. And when you're craving stuff, it's not always you craving. It's the stuff inside of you craving. They get together and say, man, we want some ice cream. What about you? <laughs> and then you think, you know what? I want some too. I want some ice cream. And you, y'all know the truth. And you don't stop until you get a little taste of what it is you want. It's those parasites. That's why a lot of you, when you start drinking the water, you say, you know what? I, you know, salt, the, two, the things that are too salty don't taste right. Things that are too sweet don't taste right. I don't like ice cream the way I used to. I don't need that vodka the way I used to used to drink that vodka. It's because it leaves your system. You don't you don't have a desire for it anymore because you killed the parasites who designed it in the first place. All right. So remember that. So don't be alone. You start to experience a lot of gas. Also, chronic diarrhea. A lot of folks they go to the bathroom they just a little bit after they eat. It's because their colon is so impacted. Let me tell you something about the colon. First of all, your brain alerts your colon every time. You're, you're getting ready to eat something, or you're eating something that's bad. So what your colon would do is it would actually try to protect itself, and it would develop this, this, this lining inside of it. After developing this lining so many times, the stomach starts to expand. And when the stomach starts to expand, this substance, that this lining that it's been producing every time you eat something bad, you know, sometimes we can do that a lot, okay, it becomes thick. So now when you're, when you're eating, you just have a very small passageway, and now you just have diarrhea. It's just a little bit coming out. It's a little bit coming out. When you start to drink the water, you experience real nice stool. Sometimes once you can't even flush down the toilet. And that's because it starts to soften your, the walls of your colon. And in doing so, what happens is now all that starts to come out of your system. Are y'all with me? That's why people start to lose weight around the waist. They lose waist around the waist. Okay? Men are walking around holding up their pants because they, they, they lost so much weight. You should see them in New York. And it's shrinking. It's amazing. My husband was one of them. My husband's a police officer. And my husband would be trying to chase people all over the Bronx. It's not, it's not a night nice, a nice thing. Out of breath, in trouble, because you're not getting enough collars. You know, always stressed out. But now he can run now. He can run now because he got some of that off of him, OK? In addition to that, digestive function. A lot of folks have problems with acid reflux. They can't, they can't, you know, it's always an issue. Sometimes it makes you feel like you're having a heart attack, stress, and so forth and so on. And then hyperacidity, which we talked about there, just, just there. The machine has also been approved by the, Jap the, the Japan Association of Lifestyle Related Disease Prevention. Now, let me tell you what this organization consists of. We, are, we, often, we often sort of put the FDA beside it, but really there's no comparison. And the reason I say this is because this organization is housed by 6,600, not only doctors, but Japanese administrators of hospitals. They actually get together and they look at all the products in one particular industry and they endorse one. They looked at all the machines out there, and they said, this is the one. That's why it's named the medical uh, device, and they named it a number one product in the, in the entire industry. So we're excited to have received that particular recognition as well. Then we partnered, we actually got the, uh, the IEEU Environment Award, and that goes because the reason why that has happened is because it reduces the use of detergent. Not only reduces the use of detergent, also uh, reduces the use of plastic bottles, which is, a, which, which is really, really, really contributing to contamination. Hygiene, back to the brushing the teeth and deodorant. And guess what? What about preventing things from happening to you? You see, the, J the Japanese believe in, in prevention. They don't believe in cure. They don't want to wait till something happens before they start to, to, to really, really wake up and, and see what's going on. And that's where we have to get to. Is that all right? We have to get a mindset that, you know what? I don't want to pay a $50,000, $100,000, $200,000 hospital because I'm just, I don't want to do right. Let me put myself in a position where I can prevent going to the hospital. I can put, put myself in a position where I can prevent others from going to the hospital by, by sharing this wonderful information with them. So this is a serious award. But let's talk about some other things here. First of all, what makes us the best? There's a couple of things outside of being approved by 6,600 Japanese administrators. Take a look. What's inside your machine? Some folk always, after every single meeting, well, Ms. Cologne, I have a machine. My machine alkalines water. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Fantastic. But do you have this machine? We have people come up and say, well, you know what? Yeah, on the internet, it says that the same plates are in that's, that's in your machine as in our machine. We know what we did? We went and we bought one of their machines, $1,500. And we dissected it right in Manhattan. And I want you all to see what we found. Now, they said this is the same plate as that one. If somebody lied, then somebody lied. Oh, they lied. <laughs> like a Toys R Us factory going on inside. Yeah. Of yeah. I'm serious. I mean, so be careful what you see. You see, the Japanese have known about this now for going on 40 years. 
all of a sudden when they develop the concept and we got wind of the concept, we want to go and try to reproduce or try to duplicate what they've done. But let me tell you something. If I want a Rolls Royce, I'm going to Rolls Royce. Are y'all with me? If I want a Yugo, I'll go to Yugo. This is the Rolls Royce of all the machines. It's proven itself and it's the only machine that produces Congen water, which is the highest form of alkaline water you can, you can get. In addition to that, it's, it's number one because of the antioxidant levels that it has. If I were to test right now with an ORP tester some water, some tap water, some soda, or even our Congen water, you'll find that our water is, is better than them all. Even when I test some other machines, they all go on the positive side, and you might not be able to understand that, but in the training, you'll thoroughly understand that. What that means is that it contributes to aging. Think about it. When you cut an apple, what happens when you cut an apple? If I cut an apple right now, I leave the apple right there, what would happen? It'll start to turn brown. Have you ever left a pack of cookies open? And you go back and say, why are they so soft? They be kind of, it's kind of good when they're soft, though, aren't they? But we all know they're stale, okay? What about cereal? Cereal, you ever open up a box of cereal, you left the bag open, and you go back and it's all stale, right? Where do you think, where do you think that's coming from? It's coming from the oxygen in the air. So if it's happening to the apple, if it's happening to the cereal, if it's happening to the cookies, what is it doing to you? When you're taking in the same air that's doing that to the apple, what is it doing to you when you're taking it in? All of us right now, we're taking in free radicals. All of us right now, when we drink acidic beverages, we eat acidic food, we're taking in free radicals. We're contributing to oxidation in our bodies. We're contributing to the aging process. We're contributing to decomposing ourselves. We're contributing to all of that. So when you drink this water that's antioxidant, are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Now, you, it go, you take it in your body, it destroys the free radicals at record time, people get more energy, they start looking younger, they start feeling younger. You see the organs are starting to, to rejuvenate, cells are starting to, to come back to life, things start to happen. And that's why the president of our company, and I wish I had a picture of him, is 65 years old and look a day over 40. Wow. He's been drinking this water for 15 years. And I'm 16. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all forgive me. Anyway, what it does is it keeps the food fresh, free of rust, and also anti-aging as well. But now let's look at the scale here real quick. So I have a monitor, but we don't have time to do that today. The bottom line is here, over this side is where we are. Here is when you actually take in tap water, when you take in bottled water, and when you take in conking water. You see the difference? Positive 600, positive 500, and the conking water is a negative 250 and growing. And that says that it's loaded with antioxidants, and that's why the Japanese approved the machine as well. And this is a chart, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now. We can get that table over here. We can get that table over here, please. I'm gonna actually test some water. I've already told you about the different types of water, but I'm gonna test the water now. Can I get uh, my um, my uh, things at the right time? I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about some money that's gonna blow you away. And I happen to know somebody in particular that's made close to two hundred thousand dollars in just about seventeen weeks. So here it is. Let's test some water. This is a chart here, okay? We're going to go by this chart. And I want you to tell me whether or not you see sickness or whether or not you see health. Now, keep in mind, you know, we, 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 like I said, we've done some research, and, and you have some documents there. We don't have enough to give to everybody. Um, but that it just basically tells you about what the Italians found in tap water. You'll find that some of these waters will come out like a light blue. And what we discovered when we do the ORP testing is that they're way, I mean, they're, they're worse off than the ones that come out sometimes yellow, believe it or not. So we're going to put all these waters to test, and you're going to tell me. Now, when you drink acidic foods and, 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 and eat acidic foods and drink acidic drinks and you're stressed out, anybody here has never experienced stress? <laughs> so is it fair to say that a lot of us have gotten, we've gotten acid, acidic because of stress? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. yes. When you have alkalinity, which is I mean, ultimate health, and you add alkalinity to acidity, you get complete balance. That's where we all want to be. That's where a baby is when a baby comes into the world. Are you with me? That's why you don't smell their stool and all that kind of stuff in the beginning. But after we start giving them what we eat, about one year, it's a different, eight months, a different ball game. It's like, who going to change it? I ain't changing it, right? <laughs> we gonna, do, I have a, do I have a pH test? I'm going to put a little bit of Fiji. In this glass here, we're gonna, we're gonna put that to test, just a little bit. Then this is, what is this one? Zephyr Hills. We're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of this to the test. And then we have Aquafina now. Aquafina, as you saw on the screen, Aquafina, think about it. What soda bottles does this remind you of? 
Pepsi. Pepsi, absolutely. You know who makes it? Pepsi. All they've done is they've taken away the actual other parts, the other ingredients, and they left the distilled water pretty much. That's what it is. And this, this Pepsi, Pepsi makes this. Because Pepsi knew this. You know what? People aren't drinking Pepsi the way they used to. And keep in mind, you always find it on sale. Three for five and five and all that, right? And trying to give it away. You know it's the truth. Then we have Sam's water. For me with that one? Yeah. That's the discount water, right? A lot of people don't drink that because they think it's bad. You'd be surprised. Then there's the Zani. Which bottle does this remind you of? Which soda bottle does this Coca remind you of? Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. That's exactly who makes this one. Coca-Cola makes the Zani. The Zani has been banned from Europe. It's not even allowed in their country. I've never seen water that was banned from another country. That's deep. Okay? I mean, but you're going to see why. Then we have those folks that say, you know what? You know what? We're not going to... Um, drink water. I don't like water, but I do like to get the nice little fizz, so I, I'll go to seltzer water. So we go to Perrier. We're going to test that too. Perrier. Is it Perrier? Is that how you say it? I don't drink it. But I used to. Get seltzer water with lemon, please. <laughs> What's the truth? And there's the Evian, huh? Loaded with chemicals. How many of y'all like the way this tastes? And then there's Sprite. You know, they say if, if, if the soda, the lighter the soda, the better the soda is for you, right? right. So everybody says Sprite. Right. Sprite is better for you. You know, this is the number one seller in fast food restaurants. Right. Sprite also made by who? Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. When Coca-Cola discovered that, that, that light is better, they made it lighter. <laughs> People stopped drinking it, they made water. <laughs> and Zani, let me tell you something. You go online and, and Google, Google this stuff. It goes through three filters. It's tap water, and it goes through three filters, and the filters have been changed since they started doing it. <laughs> and that came from somebody in there working. I don't know if they were mad or what, but the bottom line is they, they done told it like it is. <laughs> okay? Then there's Nestle water. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna test this one, too. And then this is Congen water, right? Yes. It looks so good. It's so nice and cold. And this is a pH tester. You can get this from the healthful store, you can get it from the pet shop, you know, like pet shop or like a fish store, whatever. Because you do understand that if the water's not right when you when you have when you put together an aquarium, the fish will die right away. See, that's not how we operate though. You see, we keep eating stuff that's not that that's not good for us. It ain't gonna kill us the first time. If I told you that the hamburger that you ate, if you ate another hamburger after the night, let's say I told you this, and then what I said was true, you was gonna die. How many of y'all still eat it? That's my point. If I told you if you smoke one more cigarette to after the night, how many of you would still smoke? My Betty smoked four or five packs a day. And she didn't stop. We kept telling her, stop, stop smoking. Oh, I gotta die something, please. Everybody gotta die something. Then let's let me have my cigarettes. Went to the doctor, he said, if you smoke one more, you're gonna die. She, oh, I had to stop. I quit smoking. <laughs> okay? So what I'm saying is that it's not the first cigarette, it's not the first drink, it's not the first. Uh, a, a, a piece of meat you eat, it's over a long period of time. If you keep doing it, it's bound to catch up with you. Right. But fish, if their water's not correct, they'll die instantly. Mm -hmm. So we use this pH tester to test the water, the level of the levels in the water. So now I'm going to test Fiji, and you're going to tell me based on this chart, and I, I really want to test, use my, um, my, oh, my ORP um, tester. And this one is like a, 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 a greenish looking color, right? And when I get, I need my ORP, I'm going to use my ORP test because this, this here is very, very, the, the ORP levels in this is very, very high. I mean on the positive side, which means that it's deadly. And this is Zephyr Hills. Same thing. Very similar, right? A little bit, just a, it's a little, little bluer because of the chemicals. Now let's take a look at Aquafina. What do you see? Huh? What about Sam's? Up. Oh, somebody says jacked up. <laughs> Woo, design. What do you see? Thick water. Thick water. Yeah. What about Perrier? I mean, it's just water. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. What do you see? Thick water. Thick water. Then that's Avion. You're going to find the same thing as Fiji and this other Zephyr Hills. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's because of the chemicals. That's why I want to do the ORP test. I, I got to do it. Then it's Sprite. Yeah, that's, that's real. <laughs> what do you see? Real sushi. Yeah, you keep drinking that, it's, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> then you have Nestle. 
<laughs> like a greenish, like a lime. Then we have the Kangen water. <coughs> What do you see? What do you see? Help, help, help. help. All right, fantastic. Now what I want to do is I want to show you something. Can I get some kind of water? I need a whole lot of them. Yeah. What I want to do is I want to add Kangen water to these bottled waters that you see here and also the Perrier and the, um, and the Sprite. And I'm going to show you how when you drink this water, what happens is it begins to neutralize the acid in your body. And once the acid is neutralized, now you begin to feel better. And you're going to hear from some people here, here tonight that, um, that have experienced the wonderful, wonderful power of just drinking clean water, opposed to putting these chemicals in your body. Now think, here I am flying in to Florida, and everybody has these nice little pretty bottles of Dasani. <laughs> Ladies sitting beside, behind me on the side, I'm telling you, I mean literally was having a heart attack. They had to give her oxygen. And I'm like, they're killing the woman. You know, she asked him, water, water, water. I'm like, you know, but who am I? You know, I, I, I what, what, what am I supposed to do? Stop! Don't give her no more of the acid. You know? I mean, said, so give her oxygen. We had to wait for the ambulance to come and, and the flight. They was thinking about taking the flight back down. And I said, we got to pray because I got to get to this meeting. Y'all can't take this plane. This plane ain't nowhere but in Fort Lauderdale. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I'm going to do some testing here. Can, we have, can I have the water? Y'all got it? They bringing the water? What are they doing? They coming. Let's <laughs> see, they're messing up my flow here. <laughs> yeah, they have, you have it? 